What's up with the man? Swoop we'll back in here again with another GTA 5 video, man. And this one, guys, we'll be talking about a whole lot of different things, man. Something that, you know, that I've been looking forward to, to this, actually. And obviously, you see the title. Yeah, of course. You see the thumbnail. Yeah, of course. But, guys, we're going to be talking about GTA 5's cop. Even if they brought cops and crooks in the future sometime. I'm not sure when they're going to put that out. But they got this game called Police Simulator Patrol Officers. Now, this game wasn't going to be coming anywhere besides Steam. But they announced that it's coming to uh, every console, Xbox, uh, PS5. I'm not sure about PS4. I think they are. But this is crazy. This is almost like like uh, LSPDFR. You know, and, and this whole law, law enforcement thing, like on the consoles, this is it's crazy. It's, it's made by Asia Interactives. And the publisher is Astragon Entertainment. And they said that they're going to be announcing this new police simulator patrol officer really soon. It's going to launch all, oh yeah, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox X, and S. So this game, I think I think this game is going to blow up. I mean, everybody's, especially the GTA community, man, everyone's asking for a, a sudden, you know, GTA Cops and Crooks thing or something that they can do for RP. Now, I'm saying that if anyone wants to test a police simulator, uh, on console before it's released and actually not want to miss a Gamescom 2022 um, between August 24th and 28th, 2022. They're gonna have they're gonna be having some kind of big opportunities. So the first thing they're gonna do is obviously showcase the Astrogon Entertainment game and, or in a booth in Hall Seven, whatever it is. But the fans can actually look forward to reveal of the upcoming content and everything else, man. This gonna be cool, man. But. And as far as for GTA 5, I, you know, Rockstar Games obviously would not put something like this on a game for a fact because obviously it's Rockstar. You know, Rockstar always like to leave the good parts out. They like to give us the dry stuff, if you know what I mean. And obviously this patrol officer thing, you can actually like have like eight playable characters to start with in their first shift. Even a rookie patrol officer, which could be somewhere, you know, in, in, I mean beside you if you know what I mean but obviously you have to learn the enforcements and you got to graduate enforcement simple traffic rules and you know preventing a lot of things you know especially minor things and major accidents but the police officers can actually search arrests even uh, cases of theft and wanted suspects uh, harming property damages drug dealing and growing experience and everything else but there are different police cars that you can actually pick as far as three uh, lively city districts that is gonna consist of like 15 different neighborhoods or so. But there is also a two player co-op multiplayer mode that's gonna give you an option, you know, to actually virtual have like the officers opportunities to serve the public as a team with a friend and just other open patrol mode stuff that is kind of gonna be under restricted access to the whole city, which is a huge plus now, for me, I feel like, you know, they could have had a little something different on GTA, you know. But, you know, for anything else, I think it's going to be a great thing. As you guys can see right here, the little trailer you guys can see right now. It's showing us what's going to be happening in the neighborhood. So, we're, me and a friend are in a cop car. We're hanging around looking for some things. And then they talk about a traffic management update. So, you see vans here. You see the cop going through the back of the truck. Actually getting cones and anything else has to do to block the street. Now you're able to do all these kind of things, which would be nice if, you know, GTA had this kind of stuff. And they had, they, I see they had managed for different accidents, scenes and stuff like that, which there is your wheel, you know, uh, menu as well. You can see things, you can scan, you can do all types of things. Obviously, GTA won't be able to do these kind of things, obviously, but it gives you like everything. For this is for ID, search, handcuff, and you have to try to run away, you can chase them, stuff like that. So this is something that we must have in GTA. So do you guys think that maybe GTA versus this game is gonna be kind of competition with the whole SPDFR thing? You know, this might be a type of game. This game's gonna be coming up very soon, so check it out. If you want some more information, I can make a part two. Make sure you guys do drop a like, subscribe to the channel, do turn post notifications on, give it a super thanks if you find this video informative. Don't know what it is, man. And check this game out. Because it's coming very, very soon. Today, that's what we want. Setting out.